Hi there, hello and howdy. This is Sheila and welcome to the Painted Pig channel. Excuse my scratchy voice. I'm trying to get this video done before breakfast. So, I've had coffee though. Um, <clears throat> I want to send hugs and kisses to Scrimping Mommy, Amanda. Thank you so much for subscribing and your kind and funny comments. So here we have uh, a, the tapestry. This is a revisit. Um, I ended up uh, not quite finishing it and then not quite liking the cover. So we re I revisited it. <laughs> and added some things as you can see this journal is six by nine it's one signature a little chunky and most of my girls are <laughs> I take after their mom no uh i told you it's before breakfast I, 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 mm. so um one signature uh dyed paint of, of um a variety of papers and uh, lots of trim and pearls and the closure is a bit unusual I didn't like the little lace that I had on there it was not yeah it was just me so I do not know why I decided to uh, attach these but I did and I thought, well, how am I going to close it now? So, I've just snipped a couple of those threads and um, so made an opening for this little blingy button that I found in my stash. It is tied with ribbon and glued with <clears throat> Fabri-Tac and a little, little dab, just a little dab of hot glue. I just want it to stay. And it is expandable, but, or, or slightly so, but uh, if, if, if need be, you could insert ribbon here and tie it around there, or just cut these off and, and make your own closure, just whatever. So inside the tap tapestry, um, the, is a little inside pocket made from the same material, and I'm thinking, I don't know how this fabric is, but my friend Margaret gave it to me. It was part of her grandmother's um, stash of fabric and sewing notions <clears throat> that Margaret was so generous to give me. There's a little journaling card there and um, book plate for the, for the owner because this journal will be going up for sale in my Etsy shop. Now this is a little glassine envelope just holds a little seed pack card. Um, this was a digital collection from, I want to say por my porch prints, butterflies. And as you can see, the paper is a little fragile. So handle with care. Um, and there is a doily in the background, a very muted uh, tone on tone. Um, we have a journaling card here with some stitching, and I love the way, I don't know where I got this idea, but uh, probably Corey Dahman. A lot of the stuff in here is inspired by her, and it's um, <clears throat> challenges and stuff like that. It's full of a lot of different things. And so this goes right behind the little envelope, which, yeah, Corey calls this a Gale fold because she saw Gail Agostinelli do it for the first time. So there you go. Just folds down for writing purposes and tucks there. And then we have a tag notebook over here writing on the inside some um, Janie B journal I believe digital there and some scrapbook paper and it's a little short page <clears throat> from a sketchbook. So we have a pocket and um, a journaling card. Again, I think that's inspired by Corey Dahman. 
So then a sheet of tracing paper, I do believe. Um, and then short page here with double um, tags or journaling card in them. And here we have a little little lace belly band up there with a little tiny booklet stamped with a butterfly. And here we have a corner tuck pocket, uh, a tag with a little vellum matchbook pad, and journaling card, or, or journaling on the back for the tag. And the corner pocket is collage, and we have a little um, paper clip with some sorry silk. And then here we have another corner pocket with uh, a tag and a pocket. This is uh, Pink Monarch, I think. And journaling on the back. And some trim on the side. And here we have another Cory inspired, I'm sure, uh, writing tablet here in the large pocket. And this just and we have a little pocket here on this card, a little vellum pocket, and some stitching, and then this just flips open for more journaling. So that's a little hidden journaling spot, I guess. And here, we have a little, little pad, a little scrappy pad. Now, what is that called? What is that called? Shaggy, scrappy, whatever. There it is. And here we have something I like to do a lot. Uh, this is cut. Those well tail tag, well tail tabs uh, were cut from here. So this is the negative version with acrylic on the back, and then. Little butterflies <clears throat> inserted. I like that a lot. Okay, this was a Roxy Creations challenge, maybe. Uh, junk mail envelopes. Not sure. But this was done quite a while back, guys. Well, hello, Wolfie. You want to get up here and say hello? Well, you're saying hello, but you want to show your face? <laughs> no. Okay, so we have a um, pocket here and a pocket here. Uh, that one has a tag and this one has a journaling card. Ooh. I will put paper on the back of that. How about that? It's got, st it's sticky paper apparently, so I will put some writing paper on the back. I'm going to leave that out so I'll remember. And a little short uh, vintage page here is from a notebook uh, from a lumber store, I think, here in Alabama um, a few decades back. And here we have an altered paper clip with journaling card. Um, here we have a tuck spot. And on the back we have another journaling card in the little altered paper clip with another little book. And this, as you can see, it's got a lot of butterflies in it. It's the, maybe I should call it the butterfly tapestry. Tapestry butterfly. I don't know. And here we have a little clip on with a matchbook. This is one of those where you can put the cardboard. Um, you can use boxes the cardboard boxes that food came in or whatever or um, chipboard little pocket here with a um, this was from some sort of office card um, not a time card but close and it's got little double lace pockets with uh, journaling cards and these, 
Yeah, these are definitely inspired by Corey. And oh well tell tab there. And a sheet of lined paper with a little collage at the corner. Here we have a stamp. Ah, Statue of Liberty sculptor. A 22 cent stamp. U.S. stamp. And here we have a lace covered uh, map with vellum pockets and this has that uh, wax covering on it. Another inspiration from Corey. And another little scrappy flappy paper thingy. <laughs> on top. Ah, some map. An upside down map of France. Ooh, I told you it was before breakfast. Hush time. Get you in just a second. Um, a tag, corner pocket, book page, vellum, bag with a journaling, tag card, whatever. A little stamping, faint stamping in, on this. Or no, stenciling. That's stenciling. Yep. And on the other side of the um, book page, I have a corner pocket and tag. And then on the other side, a journaling card. And here, <clears throat> we have stacked pockets with tags and journaling cards. Is that where it's supposed to be? I guess. And um, open to the side as well. There we go. And the other side we have more butterflies, more stacked pockets. This is these are library style pockets with journaling cards. And another large pocket. Uh, actually, this is uh got a, has a velcro closure and opens but we have a corner mm, i don't know if i'd call that a corner top corner pocket but anyway the front has a pocket with a tag and a little collage here and you open it and same thing similar another tag and collage then we have a vellum pocket with a little card in it and it can stop right there, or you can make it go all the way in. But I like it stopped right there by the little flower. And then the Velcro closure again. And we have some stamping here. And that sounded funny. Stamping here. Okay, here we have like little photo corners with this little... Um, Vel uh, not Velcro, magnet, magnetic closure. A little small booklet there. And on the other side, a little stamp card with three cent stamps. I have no fingernails. Uh, Con Conestoga Wagon, 1800s. That's not when... That's not how old the stamp is, but that's what the picture is on it. And a little small tag there. We have a corner over the page thingy with um, a couple of journaling cards there. And on the other side, a pocket with two collaged and stitched tags. And notice the uh, well tell tabs again. Oh, and there's a little pocket here. Cute, if I do say so. Now you had your breakfast. So, hush. Okay, we have a flip up with journaling spot. A flip over or journaling. And this would again be the tracing paper, I think. And glossy accented. Which I like. Okay. And this is a music page. 
with more stacked pockets. I think these are the ones. <laughs> are these? I'm I'm afraid to. I'm gonna mess it up if I fool with them. But uh, the that is there for a reason. I don't know. Don't remember why. But um, yeah, they stack up. They're vellum covered. Well tail tabs <clears throat> on the edge. And they're open there, so you could actually have tuck spots as well. A little stenciling on this page. And stamp. A little stamp pocket up there. Cute. Canal boat, 1880s. Hmm. Um, and another stamp here. A two cent stamp. Tracing paper, journaling, oh, look, oh, <laughs> curb my enthusiasm, um, a little vellum pocket on this tag, and I think that's cute, and journaling spot on the back of that one, and a an altered paper, a hidden paper clip here. A large tag in the back with some Janie B. Journal digitals. The other side of the paper clip. And then that brings us to the back of the journal. And I did say soft, soft covered, fabric covered journal. Okay. Uh, my card. And we have a little booklet here with, um, Another of those fold downs. And a little belly band for it to fit into. A little squirrel. This little squirrel page there. Squirtle. <laughs> My dog has a toy um, little. Chewy toy. That's the squirrel. We call it squirrely. Go get squirt. You know. Okay, and a few little beads there, and that's the other side. Here we have a pocket that I'm pretty sure was some sort of challenge, and prob probably from scrapbooking with me. And so there's a little side pocket here, a little space for a journaling spot. And here we have a card for journaling as well. Kind of cute. All right, so that is the tapestry revisited. And this is the back cover. Lots of doodads back there. <clears throat> and I just ripped the paper clip off. Did it go here? Well, that's where it's going. And you just put that around. <laughs> okay. You just slip that over the button for closing the journal. And there we go. That will be in my Etsy store. Today is Thursday. The second. So this will go up in my Etsy store in tomorrow or Saturday. So that'll be on December 3rd or 4th, 2021. The tapestry. Or butterfly tapestry. Something to that effect. So you guys have, um, hope you're having a great day whenever you watch this. Lots of you watch this, please. Uh, <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe if this is uh, your first time. Um, thumbs up is always appreciated if you feel so inclined. And I welcome all comments and shares and all that good stuff. And the notification is there if you want to know when I post videos. Because it could be any time. We just don't know these days. <laughs> and I'm going to try to improve... 
my camera and my setup and possibly even my lighting. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> and uh, just keep improving the channel uh, because I so enjoy it and I'm thankful to all you who are watching and subscribing. I appreciate it so much. So I want you to take care, stay well, and here's you some hugs and kisses until the next video. Thank you. Bye.